Good morning. Welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. So glad that you're joining me today and I want to share a copycat recipe that tastes like one of my favorite candy bars and that's a payday. This is very easy and uh, doesn't take long to do. So let me tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to put two cups of peanut butter chips in a microwavable bowl. And to that, I am going to put three tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm going to put that in my microwave for just a little bit. I put it for 45 seconds so I can check it. But in the meantime, I took some butter and I generously greased a 9 by 13 pan with the butter. Now I'm going, I have taken three cups of salted peanuts, that's three cups, and I'm going to sprinkle half of them in the bottom of this 9 by 13. Okay. Now I can set this aside. Let me check my... Okay, that had not melted. What I'm going to do, when that comes out, I'm going to add two cups of miniature marshmallows <clears throat> and a half a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring to that and I'm going to stir it really good and also add a can and that is a 14 ounce can of condensed milk. The microwave is just about to go out. Let me stir that and see if I'm going to need to put it in there anymore. That looks like it's stirring pretty good. So let me add my condensed milk. And my marshmallows. and my half teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna mix that up. I may have to put it in there for just about 20 more seconds because the um, marshmallows are not uh, melting. Put it for 30 seconds and um, I probably, I mean the peanut butter chips <clears throat> and the butter had melted but it probably wasn't hot enough to melt the marshmallows. But that's all that it is. It's the two cups or a package of the peanut butter chips, three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Mix that um, in your microwave until it's good and hot and melted. Yeah, I think it's melting now. I'm gonna stir it really good. I still see a few, so let's put it back in there for 30 more seconds. My all-time favorite candy bar has been just a Hershey bar. I love the way the milk chocolate tastes in that, but I love a payday. And lately, if we're going to get a candy bar 
I'll get a payday. So when I found this recipe of the uh, copycat, I thought, this is what I want. Okay, yeah, see it's, it is uh, mixing, it's melted now. So you do need to, according to your microwave, now every microwave is different. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this mixture over that cup and a half of peanuts. And, you know, anything with peanut butter and condensed milk has to be delicious. So, I'm going to spread that over the peanuts and, uh, Then, I'm going to add the rest of the peanuts on top. So, I'm going to use my hands. And the recipe says that you can either put it in the refrigerator to let it cool or just leave it out. And I'm just going to leave it out because it won't take long. And uh, make sure it's got every little piece. But mm, this is dangerous for me to have this much payday in my house at one time. But I probably need to give some away. But anyway, I am going to let this cool. And after it does and has set, I'll be back to show you how it's cut up. Okay, welcome back. Y'all, this is so good. If you can see, we have already cut a whole section out. Harold cut it out first, and then I cut me out the other. And it is... Hal says it's better than a real payday, but I think it's just as good. And I, when I cut this one, I thought, I'm going to cut it the size that a payday would be. Because if I'm going to buy one, I might as well eat this, don't you think? But so easy. Now, it did take a couple of hours for it to set. If I'd put it in the refrigerator, it would have probably taken a lot less time. But um, I left it on the counter for a while and it, it was still warm on the bottom about an hour after I had um, finished. So it takes a while to sit. But there's your copycat payday. And it's just really good. I hope you'll try it. It wasn't hard. You saw it. And... Uh, it's just something it, it would make a lot if you cut it in pieces about two inches, two by two. But, you know, I thought, since I made it, I might as well eat it all. But anyway, I just want to remind you to be salt and light. I have my necklace on. I have my shirt. And I just want you to know that Jesus loves you. I appreciate you watching me. Uh, it, so many of you are new and you don't know that you can go to my website mamasusouthernkitchen.com and you can order shirts, necklaces, hats, aprons, or my volume 1 and volume 2 cookbook. Just go there and it'll show you all the ways that you can order. But thank you so much and I'll be back soon.